Hi, in this episode of Learn Confluence, we will discuss about macros. We will dive into one of the most important and commonly used macro called Table of Contents. We will look at how and where to use this macro and how to optimize it. But before proceeding ahead, do like, share and subscribe to my channel, Vlog Everything. Let us firstly understand what is Table of Contents. This macro scans all the headings of the current Confluence page and creates a clickable index or table of contents. Instead of scrolling through lengthy pages, one can click on the index link and you will be taken to that information on the page. We have understood what is table of contents. Thus, let us understand how to set up the table of contents macro on your Confluence page. The first thing that I'm going to do is to create a page on Confluence. So, I'm going to name this page as testing table of contents macro. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do is click below the heading in the text line and you'll click on the plus icon, which is the insert button to add any kind of macros to your Confluence page. So I'm going to click here and type table of contents and find that macro and just click on that option. And here we go. The table of contents macro appears on your Confluence page. Now that we have this ready, I'm just going to publish this and go back to my page over here. So I'm going to go back to this page because I do have some information over there which I'll copy from there and paste it over here. So I'm going to edit this page once again. I'm going to copy this information and paste it over here. I'm going to remove the current headlines to normal text so that I'll be able to demonstrate how this exactly works for us. So text I'm saying normal text okay so I'm going to publish this now we have the macro ready for us on this page and we have the information also written um, readily so I'm going to just click on published publish and see after we publish the page there is no well, even though we've added the macro it doesn't show up over here but what do we exactly do so that our macro aligns properly for us Right. So for that, we need to adjust our headlines. The first thing that we are going to do is adjust headings. That is H1 or heading one. So I'm going to click on edit once again. And I'm going to capture this information like this and say heading one. What is Confluence Cloud? I've moved it into heading one. And I will also move what can you do with Confluence? Also capture it and move it into heading one and then publish this. If you look carefully, now we are able to see that both the headings are being shown as links at the top, right? So now let us play around with the subheadings. So under this particular heading, which is what can you do with Confluence? I want certain actions that we usually do, like create uh, pages in Confluence or collaborate in Confluence or share information through Confluence, right? So I want them to be subheadings. So for, for that, what I need to do is I'll click on the edit section, edit button once again, and I will just capture this and put it as heading two, right? So for this also heading two, share also heading two. So most of the time you're trying to align your headings as you need, right? If you see now, you're seeing them as subheadings. Suppose you want a subheading under collaborate. Suppose share is a subheading under collaborate. I would add it as heading three. So I'm going to capture the share and do it as a heading three and publish once again. Isn't it easy and simple? Exactly. 
So what we are doing is just trying to align our headlines in such a way that they are in the order of H1, H2, H3, H4, so on and so forth, ideally. So the more sub, the more subheadings you want, you are going down those headings from numbering from one to whatever number you want, right? So that is how you're creating this particular table of contents, uh, you know, setting everything up ready for the table of contents macro. Now to test this, I'll click on collaborate link and I'm going down to the collaborate. I can scroll up to the page and I'll say, click on share. I'll go to the share button, right? It is very easy and simple. I hope you enjoyed this video about setting up the macro, but we are going to learn about how to optimize this table of content macros in our next episode. Um, till then, 